Makeup Channel, it's your girl Patricia here with another banging video. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys 10 tips that you need to know before starting your YouTube channel. Yes, you heard me right, 10 tips. So number one, there is no right time to start a YouTube. There, you'll be like, okay, you know what? I'll start my YouTube on December 4th. No, I'll start it on December 10th. No, I'll start it on December 11th. When you feel that feeling in your heart, like, okay, I want to start a YouTube channel, go for it. Don't wait for, no, I need this, no, I need this, no. Which brings me to my second point. Two, you do not need the perfect equipment to start a YouTube channel. You don't need the Canon EO what, the Sony EO what to start your channel, no. If you don't have that and if you don't have the money, to start with that just start with what you have so just like me i use um uh samsung a50 to fume and it's good enough for me and it is in my range don't stress yourself to get an expensive camera that you won't even be carrying around because if you'll be doing some vlogging you won't be able to move around with it well you know just start with what you have start simple if you can afford the cameras the equipment and stuff like that well then good go for it and then start youtube and you don't need like, oh, I need a laptop and stuff like that. No, if you don't have it, just start. If you have it, well, don't get it again. You can do it. So number three, YouTube pays you. So that doesn't mean that when you start a channel, like your goal should just be like, I should get paid. I should get paid. I should get paid. No, join YouTube because you want to make good content. You want to make content that you enjoy doing. If you uh, love vlogging, if you love makeup, beauty, traveling if you're that type of person make it but enjoy what you do don't just do it for the sake of oh i know youtube pays and stuff like that no don't do it for that do it because you love it number four make good quality content you know you you people will be able to tell or your audience will be able to tell like if you're just doing it for the sake and you're not paying any attention to what you're doing the editing should be good as well there's so many apps that you can use to edit them there's final cut pro yeah um for me i don't advise you to use the InShot app to edit your videos simply because it has a watermark and you don't need a uh, watermark in your videos so you can use other apps there are so many other apps that you can use to edit your videos and they'll still be good so it all comes back again Love your content, love what you're doing, and everything is gonna just blending pretty well. Be creative, be unique, be yourself. So people don't want like somebody who's just like all about copying other people's content, copying, pasting, copying, pasting. No, people want genuinity in somebody's content. Like, oh, okay, yeah, Patricia is good at this. Oh, I like her for this. I like her for this. Don't copy. When you start the YouTube, be you. Just be you. Number six, be consistent. What I mean by be consistent with your content. So when you open up your YouTube channel, you're successful and do all that. So when you choose a date, like say, um, I'll be uploading every Friday at uh, maybe 7 p.m., 8 p.m., be consistent and stick with it because your viewers are going to know, oh, um, Helen uploads it. 7 p.m. Oh, I've got a video coming up for her. And so be consistent. Don't say if you're going to upload Friday and then just change it up and start uploading Wednesday. Yes, you can change it up. You can change it up as long as you tell your audience like, okay, you guys, I'm going to be uploading on Wednesdays instead of Fridays. Okay. So be consistent. Key is be consistent with your content. And if you'll be uploading every week, let it be every week. Just like that. Every week, every week. So it's every Friday. So every Friday. Next Friday, you should have a video. The other Friday, you should have a video. Or unless you change it up, say, maybe two times in a week, that's up to you. But key is be consistent. Number seven, engage with your audience. If you um, post something and you've got people commenting stuff uh, down below your video, don't just like give them a like or a heart. If somebody's expressing something because they're happy about your content, uh, give them a like. Converse with them. Reply to their um comment don't just like leave them hanging that's part of it and you're increasing your engagements on your channel as well 
Number eight. Do not, I repeat, do not do sub for sub. Sub for sub. Hey, sub for sub. Sub for sub. Sub for sub. Sub for sub. Like, it affects your channel in the sense that when you do sub for sub, some of those people are just subscribing to your channel and they do not watch your videos. So, in the end, it affects your YouTube because YouTube be like, oh, this person just subscribed and doesn't watch her content. So, just be genuine. Share your... um videos on facebook or any of your social media handles where you know that people actually watch your content and will be there for you because that those are the type of uh, channels you see somebody has got like 500k uh subscribers and then the watch is just um maybe 2k 3k and you're wondering like what how come this person has got this many subscribers and the watch is not so good that's because of sub for sub it doesn't bring you any genuinity so it's just not good. Don't do sub for sub. Number nine, choose what type of content you're going to be doing. So if you're going to be doing makeup, let it be makeup. If you're going to be doing um, hair, let it be hair. Just have a specific niche that you're going to be doing and focusing on. If you want, you can do everything. Other channels do everything and it still goes well. But if you feel there's a particular topic that you want to focus on, just focus on that. Then you doing all of her stuff and you can tell, oh, this is not what she does and then it will just come out as less informative and people will be like ah no i can't stick to this channel number 10 always celebrate your little milestones so when you get 200 subscribers celebrate 100 subscribers if you get to 200 celebrate 200 subscribers if you get to 20 celebrate the 20 the little things do matter and it's all part of your journey yeah so those are the 10 tips i have for you for setting your youtube channel Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video.